So we are trying to draw this figure in microstation. Over here, in this figure, we can use the advantage of symmetry. That is, if we draw one half of this portion, either the right or the left half of the portion, then using the mirror option, we can create the mirror image and that will complete the entire figure. That is, we'll draw this right side portion this complete portion and after that at this point or at this point we are going to create a mirror image of this right side portion to get the left side portion which will complete the entire figure okay so in order to start i'll take up my smart line option and i'm going to draw the first line horizontally let us begin over here and i need to move a distance of 1.375 horizontally so in this direction i'm going to move it Type in 1.375, enter and left click. In this way we have moved. After that, after coming over here, next we need an arc at this particular end point. Now in order to draw this arc, we have several options. The first one being, instead of lines, I can choose arcs over here. I'll select arcs and I'm going to draw this arc. The center point of the arc will be at a vertical distance of the radius value that is 0 0.625 from here to here the distance will be the radius of the arc that is 0 0.625 so this value will help me determine the center of the arc going along the vertical direction and specifying 0 0.625 enter and left click now you have fixed the center of the arc after that we'll come to the right side here comes the problem over here you can see this arc is not till a quadrant location right now I do not know the end point of the arc I cannot draw it randomly if I select anywhere randomly I will not be getting this exact shape to get this exact shape you need to bear in mind that this line the inclined line over here is tangent to this arc at this particular point near this point and this inclined line is also tangent to this arc that is the reason drawing of arcs is a bit difficult over here. If I draw an arc, I won't be able to select the endpoint. I cannot choose it randomly. If I select it over here and then go with straight line. This line will not be tangent to the arc which we have drawn. That is the reason what we are going to do is instead of drawing the arcs, I'll come out of the command first. I'll go with undo, come out of the command. then. We are next going to place the circle over here. We are going to create a circle at this particular using the center point that is at a distance of 0.625 vertically up from here. And after creating the circle over here and over here, we are going to draw a tangent line in this way. We start off right draw one line over here at a distance of 1.375 horizontally enter and left click then come out of the command after this when you're trying to place this circle the circle radius is 0 0.625 so I'll go with the radius value I'll check it that is lock it 0 0.625 enter now comes the placement sorry right the circle radius is 0.625 now comes the placement of the circle in order to place this circle you know that it is at a vertical distance of 0.625 from this line so I'll go in this vertical direction and in the acute draw I'm going to enter 0.625 you can see right now this dot over here represents my present origin and with respect to this I'm going to enter the value along the vertical direction I'm hitting escape key in order to bring my cursor to the acute draw right now it is in the place circles right now it is over here in the place circles toolbar I need to get it into the acute draw toolbar so I'll hit my escape key after hitting my escape key in the y value I'm going to enter the vertical distance that is 0 0.625 select it over here 0 0.625 enter and left click right click to come out of the circle command in this way you have placed the circle all right now after creating the circle next you need to create one more circle over here which is having a radius of 0 0.875 in order to get the center point of the circle i can draw 
वन लाइन फ्रॉम दिस स्टार्ट पॉइंट हॉरिजोंटली टू पॉइंट टू वर्टिकली फोर पॉइंट सेवन सो इन दिस वे टू पॉइंट टू एंटर वर्टिकली फोर पॉइंट सेवन एंटर एंड लेफ्ट क्लिक इन दिस वे वी हैव ड्रॉन दिस आफ्टर ड्रॉइंग दैट लाइन आई एम गोइंग टू यूज द एंड पॉइंट ऑफ दैट लाइन टू क्रिएट अ सर्कल this is one option that is i'll choose my circle option the radius value is 0.875 lock it over here and place it at that end point after that you will have to delete this line right so this is one method or else i'll go with undo 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 now in order to draw the circle instead of drawing the line i can just select the place smart line option i'll click over here in order to indicate my start point after i select over there i'll go with right click that is i have come out of the place smart line option i did that in order to get my default view or the origin of this particular drawing over here origin of your acute draw at this particular point now i'll take my circle option radius 0.875 checked log and your origin is presently over here you can directly enter these values 2.2 and 4.7 tab 2.2 is the existence enter and 4.7 is the vertical distance enter and left click see we did not draw that line we saved one step okay in this way you have drawn these two circles after which i'm going to use my smart line option again and this time i need to draw a tangent line from here to here in order to draw that i'll choose my button bar click on this you get this toolbar dock it over here at the bottom i'll double click on tangent in order to set it permanently because i need to use it twice i'll select first over here and the second over here in this way sometimes you might get the inclination incorrectly in which case you'll just have to rotate this line over here sometimes you get it in this way just rotate it keep on rotating and you'll be getting the correct inclination and click over here at the tangent location and right click to close that line in this way we created that portion next we need to draw this uh, circle again so we'll choose smart line option and come back to key point place it over here then the circle radius is 0.875 again vertical distance is 2.75 0.875 is checked vertical distance is 2.75 x is 0 vertical distance is sorry x is 0 vertical distance is 2.75 enter right now i had shown it the incorrect direction that is downward direction so i'll just uncheck this move vertically up and now lock it at 2.75 over here this is the radius value go in this direction x is 0 enter y is 2. Point, sorry 0.75 i'm forgetting the value chi right this is 2.75 sorry for confusing you over here let us uncheck this vertically 2.75 enter and left click all right i finally place the circle right now in order to draw this line over here we almost hit the 9 minute mark i'll stop the session over here let us continue in the next session i'll i promise i'll finish off this figure in the next session